There are various types of viruses that can cause infections of the respiratory tract of humans. One of those groups of viruses are called coronaviruses. So human coronaviruses can cause common cold-like symptoms. The problem going on currently is a novel coronavirus. So novel because it's not a typical human coronavirus. It's one that's spread from non-human animals to humans and now appears to be transmitted human to human. It's different because we don't, uh, may not have uh, immunity uh, or significant immunity to this virus. Um, the symptoms are somewhat different than human coronavirus. So it's something that we're concerned about uh, in terms of trying to mitigate spread uh, globally, uh, particularly here in the United States. Most of the patients, by the time they come to medical attention, the vast majority have a cough and fever. A fair number of the patients also have some shortness of breath associated with, with a pneumonia. Symptoms that we commonly attribute to common cold, such as a runny nose and sore throat, occur uh, but in a very small, about one in 10 patients so far. Again, these numbers can change. So unlike human coronavirus and some the common cold virus, something called rhinovirus, there's less upper respiratory tract symptoms, runny nose, sore throat, and more lower respiratory tract symptoms, such as cough, oftentimes not productive, uh, fever, and shortness of breath. We still have uh, a lot of uh, widespread influenza in the United States, so general precautions for respiratory viruses. Um, clean your hands frequently. If you have to uh, sneeze uh, or cough, uh, do so into some tissue and then clean your hands or into your sleeve. Um, stay home if you are ill with respiratory viral symptoms, so don't forget the, some of those basics. We have a lifespan working group to quickly put in place um, various interventions to reduce risk of transmission, such as a hand hygiene product, facial tissues, masks for someone coming in if they have any respiratory viral symptoms to put on and to identify themselves to the closest staff member that they have these symptoms as well as a travel history. If somebody has symptoms suggestive of a respiratory viral infection, particularly cough, fever, shortness of breath, and they've traveled, particularly outside the US and particularly to an area where we know this virus has been detected, rather than going to an urgent care office, we would best be served if they went to the closest emergency department, calling the emergency department ahead of time, letting them know they're gonna be coming there. Upon arrival, they should have a mask, be put a mask on, clean their hands, and be brought directly into an examination room. We're taking this very seriously at Lifespan, and we're doing everything humanly possible to keep you safe should you or your loved one come into one of our facilities.